What's going on guys? Hey, I just wanted to talk real quick about a situation I had where um, on my ZX-10R, I replaced the tires. So yeah, it was just time to replace the tires, right? So, take the wheels off the bike, take it up to a dealership, get the new tires put on, put them on the bike, go for a road test, whatever. Um, they end up taking like half off the front um, the, the back wheel was fine so it was really just the front so before there was no vibration or anything the ZX-10R was smooth now there's you know vibration you know like once I got the tires back so anyway of course the deal was like oh it's, it must be your wheel no it's nothing with going on with the wheel there's nothing going on with the bike so what do you do in that situation? What do you do in a situation where you get the tire back and you got a vibration? So I got some footage that I got. I want you guys to check out. Uh, and this is just, you know, what I did to, to tackle the situation. So this is a product I'm using, Counteract Motorcycle Balancing. Um, so Counter Act is the name of the company, uh, and what this does is put um, glass beads inside of the motorcycle tire to try to balance it out. Um, this kit is for a tire with a circumference within within 120, uh, 70. So there's my tire size right here, 12070, and it's a 17. So the kit comes with two two ounce um, beads. So inside, uh, there's a little bag. Um, you get two. Um, valve stems reading the reviews i re read some people say the valve stems work no good so i'm gonna go ahead and use the same valve stem that came with the my vehicle on my bike little stickers it also comes with this one this is the application bottle so it already has two ounces in here or 58 grams so it comes with this tube right here. So a lot of people said that, again, reading the comments, that this tube was hard. So of course I went out and bought a bigger tube. Well, the bigger tube doesn't fit on the valve stem. So I'm just kind of using it just for more length. And as you can see, this bottle is probably two ounces is probably like right here well right there so um i've got just about all of it in so i'm just going to set it up the camera where um just kind of give you a demonstration what works for me i also am using compressed air um i have an air compressor and just got it hooked up so i'm just blowing them in um, it's not going to act, actually be two ounces because I uh, probably lost a few, not that much, but a few, um, just with the install. Um, but like, yeah, I'm going to show you how I, um, am getting the beads into the tire. This tire is already mounted, as you see. Uh, we got weight on here. There's the weight, uh, but it still got a vibration. So we'll check it out. Okay, put some beads in here. I'll try to slip some in. Make sure none don't come off. 
hook up my tube. Work it a little bit and got it blown in. Now, since there's no valve stem in here, uh, there's going to be air that's coming out. So you just can't pull this tube. So you're going to do that. Just let some of the air escape, as you can hear. And we're ready to put some more in. Don't want to fill the tube up too much. You're definitely going to need patience with this type of install. So yeah, just blow it. Let the bleeds fall down a little bit like that. And I'm just going to blow it in. Those went in. See that's going in. And they're all in. Take my tube. Get a little bit of air all the time if you can. You don't want to take that apart like just like I just did. You want to get as many of these beads as possible inside. So, don't got that much left. Maybe two more tries. Two or three more. Just a little bit. Two. Pull it in. like that let the air seep out It's relatively easy. Like I said, you just got to have patience. Of course, the ideal situation is to put these in when you put the tire on. Before you put the tire onto the... Before you put the tire onto the rim and seal the bead. I just got this tube, this 3 8 tubing at Home Depot in like the plumbing section. So I'm sure you can find it elsewhere, but even some people or some places you can cut it to length. But it was only five bucks, so. Relatively inexpensive repair. Let the air 
escape. Okay, just got a few more beads in here. You want to get as much as you can, as much as possible, into the tire for the two ounces. This pulls the balance of the tire as the tires moving as your speed changes. Trying to get every little one out. Like I said, I lost a few beads already, so I won't lose any more. Just a few. All right. So now I'm gonna put in the valve stem that originally came. Put the valve core in. This is the valve core that came with the valve stem. Well, it came with the valve, so put this in. And fill the tire back up. Okay, now it's just a matter of testing it. Once we get the tire filled up, Also, I'm gonna take off the weight as well. Shouldn't the tire should not need any other weight? So I'm gonna take this weight uh, off. See how it feels. And uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> 